Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU4 Cradle of Civilization playing as Revolutionary Room. And in the last video we took down Spain. I actually had to create uh, two client states here. Uh, because I was a bit overextended, unfortunately. 108% now. Um, and the reason I haven't continued giving off even more land is I'm pretty sure the cores down here are going to be done relatively soon. So we might get lucky. But either way. Yeah, so two more. Which actually puts me a little bit the, over the uh, relationship limit, but we're about to finish annexing Coder anyway, so I think we'll be okay. Alright, so what do we need to do next? Um, well, first off, I need to learn how to talk, because I'm starting to trip over my words, and that's not a good thing. So, let's stop that first and foremost, thank you. Um, the reason that's having a problem, actually, is because I had a Krispy Kreme donut, and I'm pretty confident that the sugar is dissolving my mouth. <laughs> So my throat feels a little weird, and my cheeks feel raw, like I'm I'm ripping into them somehow. It's really unpleasant, actually. But anyway, I can't finish coring some of this stuff because it's outside my coring range at the moment, because we have to core the coast of South America first, before I'll be able to do that. So yeah, uh, I was kind of hoping I'd be able to hand that straight off to a colonial nation, but of course not. I have to core something first. Oh well, it's fine. Spain and Mali don't like each other, managed to convert some more people, blah 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 blah. We do need to work toward unifying Islam. Actually, cancel that. I have no idea how many of these Catholic provinces are in South America, which I'm going to hand off to a colonial nation in a minute anyway. Let's just convert the Copts in the meantime. That'll be fine, right? I think so. So I wonder if we want to unify Islam. And it's not... I know that there are people who are going to be mad that I took religious ideas just for the sake of this, because this is not the best choice. It's just the one that fits the theme of the series. Remember, at the very beginning, I said that I wanted to do unify Islam. Not because it's even that important. It's it's nice, but it's not that important. It's just kind of cool. But for the sake of prestige and saying I did something, I want to do it. Sort of like the Revolutionary Republic, although that is legitimately quite good. So, if we want to do this, we are missing two more provinces. One is Samarkand, which is the capital of Transoxiana, right over here. And the other is Ifni, which is located in Sus, right over here. So, we can either fight Transoxiana and Ming, or we can fight Sus, Mali, and Yao. I already have troops over here, so we're probably going to do this first. Also, I can take a lot of Islamic land down here, which would be nice. And, of course, we have to convert all of this land, unfortunately, into Islamic, which is going to be a little tough. And you can see some of these are going to be very difficult to convert, and that's why I felt like I had to take the religious ideas just to have a chance at it. So that's what we're going to do. I'm not even... Oh, there goes Coder. Hooray! I'm not even opposed to the idea, honestly. Once we have unified Islam of getting rid of religious ideas and picking up something more useful like diplomatic so I can get the permanent uh, Republican tradition policy. That'd be quite nice. I'm not opposed to doing that. It's a huge waste of admin power, but we're a, rep uh, we're a republic. We can probably get away with that if we want to. I don't know. It, it is a thought. It is a thought. We can actually do this right now. Let's go ahead and start working toward that 3% strength. I know that I'm going to need that. Sure, Britain, you may have military access. I'm not opposed to that at all. Um, so what do we get for unifying Islam again? Stability cost modifier, permanent plus two missionary strength, tolerance of the true faith, and tolerance of heretics, which reduces unrest across the board. So it saves me some monarch points from stability. Permanent plus two missionary strength is pretty nice, and then just some unrest. It's really not that important. But it would be fun to do, and that's sort of one of the themes of this series, so we're going to do it. Conquering Bessarabia, you know what, I don't really intend on fighting the Commonwealth right now, I could. But again, I'm not going to take any non-Muslim land right now, because if I'm going to finish this mission, <laughs> sooner I do it, the better. Why keep making it harder on myself? So yeah, we're not going to worry about that. Let's just get all the troops in position. Uh, let's keep converting the Copts. I would convert some of these Catholics, but again, I don't know which ones are in South America that are about to become part of my colonial nation. And there's no reason to waste my time um, converting the provinces that I'm not going to be keeping. Probably. So there we go. It's not that I care about their immortal souls or anything. That's ridiculous. Gosh, bleh, my mouth. Blah, blah, blah. Seriously, something feels a little wrong here. All right, there's 35,000 troops that are not going anywhere for some reason. Why do these guys not obey my orders? I know you were black flagged and all that, but come on. You should be fine. Nice hat, by the way. Look at that. Anyway. All right, let's get you over here or something. We'll figure that out in a second. Um, no. Screw you, Portugal. We just took your lands. Uh, oh, and you ended your war. Well, I don't know why you needed the military access then. That just seems silly. But okay. Alright, please finish the cores. There we go. Dalmatia and Lekla. 
I think we're no longer overextended, and we're not. So no more negative events, not that we had any to begin with, but that's no longer a threat, that's nice. Let's go ahead and upgrade some forts. I'm thinking one here in Messina would be nice. Uh, we'll upgrade this one here in Valencia. This one in Lisbon. Um, this one here, I guess? One against the Commonwealth. Commonwealth and Russia. And one here against Transoxiana. Best I can do at the moment. Ah, this one too. I mean, we got the money. We might as well, right? I think so. A few more mosques. Don't care. Production's pretty good. Although we are making plenty of money at the moment. Uh, about 300 ducats per month. Some would call that pretty good. I would agree with those people. I think they're smart people. They would be correct. Berglana, uh, Bagalana, whatever, has the Enlightenment. Good for you. You're all pretty late. New Granada, looks like a lot of people are fighting each other. Um, Haiti is taking a lot of land, apparently. Sucks for you, Spain. All right, so do we want to kill these people now? We'll have no friends. We'll lose some legalism and get more mysticism, which is actually okay with me. We'll have to fight Mali and... Oh, not Yao, I'm sorry. Air. Oh, the one province minor down... Pfft. Who's worried about that? <laughs> Nobody. Nobody's worried about that at all. All right, let's go ahead and declare the war. We are going to spread the revolution! X-tree, X-tree, right all about it. The revolution kills people who don't accept it. I don't know. Scandinavia is a world power. Good for you. I don't really care. All right, let's go ahead and grab Divine Supremacy. Uh, I know that we are now very low on admin power. I can't core any of Sis, and I have a lot more cores to do. Oh, we also have Animus Zealots. Where is this? Nauru? This island right here, which is currently being converted, which I could hand off to a trading company, and I will. Not enough. Could raise autonomy, but I'll lose some absolutism. Don't see it as that important, to be honest. The Nauru? What, like the uh, like the weird light-being gods from uh, World of Warcraft? It's not quite spelled the same way, but I, I get it. But still, it was the closest reference I could think of at the moment. Haiti is rivaling French Canada. Haiti is feeling very full of themselves right now, I'm just saying. Alright, so your army's been routed. Uh, you appear to be going this way. So we are going to chase you. Nope, you are going across the desert. You know what? Good point. I almost forgot that there was a desert here that can be crossed. We should definitely we should definitely remember that in the future. There's a siege of Marrakesh. Split, split, split. Go here, 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 here. I love the province. Ha ha. Ha ha! Election! Do we keep this guy this time? He's 60. I say no. How do we got now? 39! Okay, 39 is good enough. I can keep a 39 guy. Let's go for the religious unity. I'll start uh, spending my Republican tradition to keep him in charge. And now we're going to start uh, really... Ooh, Moscow just lost a... L Sorry, Russia just lost a load of land. Uh, yeah, now I don't feel too bad about re-electing the same guy and getting tons of monarch points. Create a proper fleet, reduce my overextension for the Diplo Rep, or a foothold in the Somalian coast, Mogadishu. Mm. Against Ethiopia? This is all Coptic now, isn't it? Yep. No, reduce overextension is an easy mission that I'm already working on. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and get some presence over here on the desert. 28, 28. There's not a lot of supply, is there? That's uh, concerning. We should be aware of that. Uh, oh, crap. We get legalism whether I like it or not. Okay. Well advised. Possible advisors goes up. Scotland has only just now embraced manufactories. Oh, Scotland. I'm so sorry. Go here, go here, go here, go here. Let's go ahead and annex all of that. Or occupy. Sorry. Gosh. Words. They mean things. I'm sure of it. New leadership. I'm just going to have to accept that the Suez Canal is going to be late because I can't afford to just lose all that admin power. Tea Party. Unrest. Okay, uh, do you want yearly prestige, production efficiency, inflation reduction, unrest, this all sounds good. We do have some rebels. I wouldn't mind putting them down. Let's pick you up, and then let's promote you once and twice. Now he's level three. 
I'm going to even do a fourth one. We have the money. I'm going to even do a fifth one. Fifth one! He cost me 23 ducats a month, but I can freaking afford it. Let's go ahead and just start ripping through the admin power. 15 per month. I could do the same with the others, but to be honest, I don't know if I care that much. I got the freaking money. Screw it! Raise it up. Monarch points are still good, right? Yes. Yes, they are. Um, I could do it one more time, too. But I, I actually think I'll just go ahead and stop there. Okay, let's move on. We are making some progress against Molly. Uh, desert, desert. Just not a lot in the way of supply, and that does concern me. We're taking a lot of attrition in the process, but oh well. Okay, um, I need ships. You and you. Guys, come over here. We need to conquer air real quick, just because I don't like their face. That's the Siege of Timbuktu done already. That was easy. Okay. Um, imperialism against Florida. Look at Haiti go. All right, so these guys are going to get locked in a second. Come on. There we go. All right, so they can suffer through that. Uh, let's go to go Gao. You have 23 military tech to my 26. That's going to make things uh, a little too easy, isn't it? These troops can just sit here for now. I actually don't know if I have a use for them at the moment. All right, crush. That's stack wipe. Thank you. Let's go all the way to Joma. I don't know how many troops this guy has, but I can't imagine it's a lot. Okay, let's chase away your navy. There goes the Siege of Gao. That was easy, too. Uh, go to Jenna. Henna. Sus wants out. Of course you do. I'm not going to allow you because I'm cruel. New leadership again. Yeah, that's right. You keep slowing down that Suez Canal. See if I even care, man. Okay, and there goes another siege. Are these all level two forts? Level one, level two. Level two, yep. Yep, yep, yep. They're all level two, which means this is going to be painfully easy. Oh, Molly. Oh, Molly, oh, Molly, oh, Molly. You were not prepared. You are not prepared. Hey, Granada and Separatists. I was waiting for your kind. Let's kill them. And Particularists from Molly, who are also now dead. And those guys are dead. Okay. And are we ready to land in air? I think we are. Let's conquer this too. We converted some more heretics. Hooray. Okay. The 3% definitely helps speed some stuff up. Religious zeal, zeal, zeal. All of these are not allowed because of religious zeal, with the exception of Ksar Ibrim. Ksar Ibrim. Kasser Ibram. Former capital... No. It's because it's got 30 development. Um, I suppose one thing I could do is exploit the development, which is a new feature, in order to reduce the development to try and make it easier. But I'd have to do that a lot. It would take me a long time to be able to sack them enough. More likely what I'll have to do is eventually get some extra states and see if I can find a way to do it. Or, no? Except their culture, I suppose? Nubian? I don't think I have any states that have Nubian. Yeah, I don't. I definitely do not. Uh, there are things we can do to get around it. It's just going to be a bit of a pain. And there goes the last of the stuff of Molly. Let's go kill their armies. Split, split, and split. Let's go to their coastline. Air is about to die. Goodbye, air. The gar oh, faction takeover. I haven't been paying attention to those. Okay, so the Jacobins have lost favor, and now we're being aggressive, which means manpower recovery and discipline and stuff, but more aggressive expansion. That's fine. As long as the Imperials don't take over and try to make me into a revolutionary empire, I think we'll be all right. Um, I kind of liked the unrest, though. So... I'm just going to go ahead and boost these guys and let them take over again. It doesn't cost me much in the way of power, and it helps reduce the unrest a little. Which I think is fine. Alright. Come here, Molly. Hey! Cores are done. Come here, Molly. Yay! 
And they're not stack wiped, but they're in a lot of pain. That's for sure. Okay, you guys go here, you guys go here, you guys go here. Uh, that's done. We could sue for peace and finish them off. Wait a minute, I have a mission to reduce my overextension, which we can't do yet because I haven't finished coring all of my colonial nations. We can't do this yet anyway. So let's go ahead and take this. Take your money. Nothing else matters. You're already Muslim, so let's just go ahead and finish it up. There you go. Done. Thank you. Okay. Um, Molly, hi. How you doing there? I could just take your coast. It's a thing I could do. And then kind of work my way around the desert. Like this? Uh, you wouldn't be very happy about that, but that's not a lot of overextension for me. I could handle it. Alright, go here, go here, go here, and go here. Split, split, and split. Go here, 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 and here. Just go ahead and siege some stuff down while we can. Carpet sieging. These guys look a little like Provence, and their flag's freaking me out, but it's Rumi Iberia, my new cl uh, client state. Alright, more people have been converted. Um, no. We will not sue for peace. Screw you. Uh, I'm not going to bother with any of this yet. So let's go ahead and start working on some of the Orthodox. Okay. Um, so that's all done. Then we'll go to here, 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 and here. Do that. Do, 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 do. Come on, Molly. Sooner or later, you're going to have to just accept the fact that I've beaten the crud out of you. Come on. Come on, buddy. Don't drag this out. Have some dignity, man. There we go. If only I had a single colonist that could fill this gap in, I'd feel a lot happier about that, but alas, I do not. Oh, all right. We'll take your money. Um... I don't care about revoking cores, uh, guaranteeing, you're guaranteeing Portugal? Are you serious? You are guaranteeing the independence of Portugal. No! He won't accept that. Mm, okay. Won't give me war reps either. I value the war reps more in the long run. Alright, well, we're done with Molly now. Thank you. Rumi Africa has been filled in. Butimus. Core, core, core. Or everything is super cheap. It's like going to mattress discounters. It feels great. And then we will probably full annex Seuss if I can. Um, we'll see what how much overextension that's going to cost me. Another 66? Ooh, that's too much. I could save another war for these guys. And in the meantime, just sort of fill in the... Fill in the borders here. I need to take Ifni. If I did this, that's not too much overextension. I can just kill them in a future war and they'll be super easy. Alright, we're going to do that. No allying with them. You're going to give me your war reps. You're going to give me your muns. Oh, wait, I could just create a client. No, I don't want to create a client state. I have too many diplomatic relations anyway. Alright, yeah, we'll just do this. It's going to cost me a fair bit of power. I don't actually have that much right now, but... Oh, well. Uh, at least now we own Ifni. Done. Okay, so Revolutionary Room has now taken over this entire part section of the world. That's cool. You guys don't need to be here anymore. Go somewhere else. What's the unrest look like here? Non-existent. Thank you, Sunni Faith being good. All right, you guys can all go home. Really wish I could colonize that. Might pick up a colonist later, just so that I can fill in one or two gaps and then get rid of them. I'm not sure yet. No, generals, no, don't die on me. Doink. Ooh, good siege value on that one. All right, next goal is to set up against Transoxiana. We have some troops up here. Um, we have lost an advisor that I spent a lot of money promoting. That makes me sad. Um, trade efficiency guy. Promote. We'll just leave him as level four? Yeah. Or three. Sorry, we'll leave him as level three for the time being. All right. So these guys can all go home. Uh, we'll split off the transport ships, and we'll let them continue doing what they were doing before. General here doesn't need to be here. Let's start marching over this direction. I should have more troops nearby, right? Yep. So these guys here. You guys come up here. Hello, Trebizond Separatists. 
I have a feeling I know where you're going. This has happened before, you know. Portugal, again, I don't understand. They don't... They don't have... They, they don't have anything there. They don't have a Trebizond core. They shouldn't be firing. Whatever. All right, keep converting the Orthodox, I guess. Um, make core, make core. Core, 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 core. Can't afford anything else. 77 for Sus. Feels like a lot. And the Mamluks have granted independence to Mamlukian Mexico. Mazel tov. I'm sure you're thrilled. And Florida lo lost a load of land. Look at Haiti go. Man, they're forming like a proper empire down here. I'm impressed. Oh, and there's Mexico itself. Almost the entirety of North America has been colonized, which by 1736, that's a uh, little early. It's pretty impressive, actually. Hey, look, they are coming straight to me. It is going to be easy to murder these people. Mm, let's reduce the unrest. Come on. Come here. Come here, guys. I know what you want. I know what you want. Vinland has formed. Colonial nation for Scandinavia. No one wants to learn work. Oh, no. What will I ever do without that 36.69 ducats? No. The humanity of it all. Ah. Whatever shall I do? And Britain wants me to kill Brunei. Eh, sure, I'll help, but I don't actually plan on doing anything. Okay. Um, I can't actually core anything else at the moment because it's too far away. Could invest in some military technology very, very early. Instead, I think I will strengthen the government. Hey, look! Permanent absolutism. Well, not permanent. It's due to my uh, golden era. Still, a little bit more admin efficiency is nice. All right, troops are all getting in position. We are going to kill you, Transoxiana. France and Ming hate each other. Okay. It'd be hilarious to see if Ming had some revolutionaries and became revolutionary Ming. Then it'd be two major revolutionary empires. <laughs> I'd love to see that. Well, Grand Republics. You know what I mean. Shut up. Lack of administrators. Uh, fine. Who needs administrators? I don't. It's fine. All right, let's improve relations a bit with Britain since they are my only ally at the moment. Um, actually, Jean Poor is too, is aren't they? Wait, they're at war with me. You didn't tell me Jean Poor was in on this. Hi, former ally. How are you? This is awkward, ain't it? I guess I'm just gonna go and kill your peoples now. Dang it all. Oh, look, you've got big armies. Damn you. I wasn't expecting that. I should have paid more attention. I didn't. I don't recall seeing Jean Poor on the allies list, but maybe, maybe that's my own fault. It probably is my own fault. I'm sure the information was there and I just wasn't paying attention worth anything. All right, transports, you're free to go do what you want. You guys protect trade around Constantinople. Uh, we need more armies on the Eastern Front, honestly. We'll keep these guys as a backup option. That's too many forts, by the way. Level 6, level 8. I like the positioning of this one better, though. Let's get rid of that fort. Oh, no. All right, well, it's fine. If he wants to fight me in the mountains while I have a defensive bonus, I'll take it. Bye, buddy. Former buddy. Oh, no. Lost another advice? We just picked this guy up. Okay. It's fine. Um, How about the Diplo rep guy? I could use some of that, right? Buff him. All right, do we have any more troops on the way here? Yes, it's just taking a long dang time. I'm not going to be able to go to war with Transoxiana with things like this still going on. Will I? Maybe. Okay, he's getting his troops together, which means he's scared, which is good. Three army professionalism for me. All right, 95. That's pretty good. In the mountains, can I take this fight? What's your tech level, Jean Poor? 26 to my 26, so it's a fair fight. Can't core anything else at the moment. We just need some reinforcements. Transoxiana is declaring war on more people. Okay. By the way, something I noticed in between videos. Did they add some land in Japan that is uncolonized to start with? 
What happened here? I feel like I feel like when this game rolled over to the Japan update, something freaking broke. Cuz that doesn't seem right. Does it? I don't think it seems right. I think something's horribly horribly wrong. All right, dwindling local trade. Oh my god. All right, we can afford to lose the diplo power. Mamluks are allying people. That's funny. Ramadan gains zero Republican tradition. Well, I guess there's no point in doing anything else. Uh, we can choose something new. Ignore coring distance is helpful right now. Let's go ahead and do it. Since we are coring like random uh, coastal provinces and stuff. Parts of Africa. Other things I don't have access to. There we go. Oh, you're marching away, are you? Nope, you're coming back. Okay, more conversions. Wait. I got a conversion thing, but nothing... Where's my missionary? We have no missionaries to send. What? I am supposed to have four? It says they're currently on missions. They're lying. They're actively lying to me. Strengthen the government. I am very confused. Oh, they're running now. They, <laughs> they figured out what's going on. Mysticism. Cores. It's all good. What the heck happened? Am I going to get my other missionaries back? There goes a general. That sucks. Let's get a new one. He's terrible, but we'll take him anyway. Rumi Colombia. Okay. Rumi Peru. Okay. What happened? Okay, we get some legalism and the religion and something changes for free. That's nifty. I've lost a missionary. Currently on a mission. There. Tetsu. Naru. Oh. Did they fire? No. Whoa! Oh, it's a trade company! God! Get rid of that. Sorry, I forgot. I forgot. Okay, now we're making progress. I forgot. The trade companies make it impossible for you to convert things. Unless... Wait a minute. I forgot. Now we can try doing some stuff with merchants here. If I had more po power, I could propagate religion. But I need, like, 50% control, right? Uh, Brunei already has it. I guess that's okay. Brunei's, Brunei is Sunni, so they're doing it for me for free. Okay, well. I figured I probably would never make use of that feature, but now I know for sure that I never would. Okay. Well. <clears throat> good weather. Okay. They're sneaking around me, which I don't like. Let's, uh, go take down a fort or something. I don't care. It's level 8. Great, another rich nation. <sighs> Let's take a super siege general. We'll put you over here. Um, you're on your way. Probably. This slows things down a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. Election. All right, this time we're actually going to keep somebody. We're going to lose a Republican tradition, but now our leader is a 5-2-2. We could afford to get another idea, but I'm actually not sure that I'm going to waste more power on this. I may very well decide to get rid of this as soon as I have unified Islam. And for that, I'm really just missing one province and then a lot of conversions. Whoa! Whoa, some harsh rolls there. All right, Animists and Guam. Ah! Okay, we're going to lose that fight. Colonial Assembly, that's rude. You need a better fighting general. I guess the 4-4 will have to do. That was bad. Oh, they, they fled, okay. All right, now we can convert all of the Catholics, because we know that they are in the right place. So you guys go there. You guys move north and chase. Lack of protection. Uh, that's fine. Another general has died. More cores are done. Hire a new guy. He's uh, got good siege. That's about it. I don't like you. We're gonna we're gonna replace you with somebody better. New one. There we go. A 5-4-5-3 is a pretty decent general, if you ask me. 
All right, you have a uh, reasonably good siege. We'll take you here. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, improve relations with Britain and all that stuff. That's fine. If I can find a way to separate peace out with uh, Brunei, I totally will. We have an extra merchant now because we have more colonial nations. Nifty. Where do I want to place you? Um, don't have any control there. Can't control that. I can, however, control this. But it goes to Tunis, which I can't do anything with. So... I need to start uh, looking at controlling another trade node. Like a downstream trade node and start collecting there. Could be worth pushing everything I've got from Constantinople onto Venice, if I can conquer more of it. Um... I'm not really losing any money out of Samarkand. I could push this, but it's both both nodes are going to me anyway. Yeah. I don't really see a lot of options here. Maybe I could start collecting here in Seville. We have a fair bit of control, and there's a reasonable amount of money flowing through there. I, I just don't see any more downstream help with uh, caravans and stuff right now. Jean Poor has separatists that are firing. Okay. Not especially worried about it at the moment. Ming, what are you currently occupied with? You're fighting two wars. Bashkiria and also Sheba. An imperialist war. Ooh, they're trying to take over Japan. Does this mean it's a good time to kill you? No, Ming would still defend. With Jean Poor on my border, I really don't feel like dealing with this. Uh, Tet Yushi. Where is this? Core province. I'm not going to say it's a waste of time. I want to finish converting this. We're actually very close to being done anyway. I'll dismiss that for now. We are actually over our time, so I do need to be ending this video up. Let's grab some more mercantilism real quick. Let's get these guys in position. We will increase our efforts and kill the um, zealots. We will continue converting all of these good fa uh, faithful Catholics. And goodbye. Boom. Yazidi. Ah, that's what they were. Okay. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.